All right, this is my Bluetti AC70 and it is currently charged at 9%. Um, I love this power station, it's great. The only downside is honestly been the capacity for me. So, uh, 768 watt hours is not quite enough for how long I wanna do stuff. I love the 1000 watt AC output and I love the 100 watt USB-Cs. Everything besides the capacity is great to me. And I don't wanna buy a whole new power station so I thought and I did some research, you know, this is an old e-bike battery that I have. This is a 40 volt, 48 volt, 28 amp hour battery. It's old, you know, it's on there somewhere. Um, you can find these for 150 bucks. That's what this one is. Um, has a charge port, power port, um, 48 volt battery. Um, you need to make sure the voltage that this charges up to, the highest voltage this can charge up to is 54 volts. And this will accept up to 58, see right there. So you have to make sure that this is below the uh, volt capacity. So this is at 54 volts right now, it's charged up to 100% and that can take up to 58. So I decided to take this little connector, which you often see on e-bikes, and I made this. All it is is T connector to a XT60. The XT60 is what is on the input of the Blue Eddy. So here's the battery. I'm gonna take the little dongle that I created, soldered together. I'm gonna to connect it just like this. Just plug it right in. The Blue Eddy right now is at 9%. Um, nothing's on, I'm not drawing any power. You know, just drained it recently. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And you'll watch right here on the DC input that's slowly gonna trickle up and it should get to the full 500 watts because that's the max this can output. All right, perfect, yep. So there we go, we hit that 500 watt mark and we're just gonna set this. So it says it'll fully charge the battery in 1.3 hours. And the thing is this, the capacity of this is just over a kilowatt hour. So it's a 48 volt, or I guess it's just under. It's a 48 volt battery, 20 amp hour. So it's about 960 amp hours. And this is 768. So I will actually get a full charge from 0% on the Blue Eddy from this battery. So between these, with just the battery, I have 768 watt hours. Between these two, I have about 1.7 kilowatt hours. So this will definitely boost my uh, overlanding camping trips um, by a bit. And you know, you can find these. Um, this this one right here was 150 bucks on sale. Um, you can find them even cheaper or you can get a higher capacity one. Just make sure that the voltage input um, on your power station is what allows, is what fits in the range of the battery. So I could use a 24 volt battery, but it would not charge very fast because the max this will take in, as you can see, it says under there is 10 amps. And so if I want to get the full 500 watts, I have to be at about 50 volts, 10 amps to achieve the 500 watts. This battery can do 35 amps, so I'm not worried about it pulling too much. And this is eight gauge wire, which means it can do about 35 amps too. So I'm not worried about that either. I'm only pulling about 10 amps at 50 volts. If you're actually curious on how this setup actually works, um, um, voltage in power stations is sent. It's pushed through. Voltage, think of voltage as pressure. So this voltage is going to be put into the power station. So if I plug 65 volts and the max is 58, it's going to try and put 65 volts into the power station and I'm probably going to have some problems. But amps are drawn. So when I plug this in to the power station, the power station reads, okay, we've got 54, 53 volts. Um, let's start drawing power. So it slowly draws power. You could see the DC input trickle up here. I can show you one more time. I'll unplug this real quick. So it's gonna go down, plug it in again. And you see how the DC input slowly goes up? It doesn't just immediately slam it at 500 watts. It takes its time and it says, okay, let's see how much amps we can draw. It slowly starts drawing amps, slowly. And it keeps going up and up and up until it reaches its amp limit. So that's why it slowly gets up to 500. The MPPT controller in most power stations will do the same thing. It'll make sure the voltage is correct and it'll slowly start to draw power um, until it's ready. Now this 
battery does have a BMS and you need to make sure that whatever battery you're plugging in does have a BMS because this will stop it from pulling too much power or short circuiting, over voltage, under voltage, overheating. This will protect all that from happening. It does just look like a regular old battery, but there is actually a BMS in here. So if something short, something happens, not only does this have protections, this also have protections. So, you know, I don't end up lighting these wires on fire and have a really bad day. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'd uh, love to answer them. And we are already at 13% from 9% in about three minutes. There you go.